Didn't have the ball. Ash McCarthy for the West Coast Eagles. One of quite a few of the Eagles in the long sleeves this afternoon, as you can understand. And kick out of defence. Doesn't clear the area. And Paxman diving in. Marks about 35 metres out. Four goals, three for the season. Tries to keep it low in the breeze. It bends back. First of the afternoon for the Dees. Yeah, 77's not, certainly not out of well, the realm. Well, if they finish their work, well, they, they've had chances, haven't they? So they're, if they're three or four already, they're a chance. But they've got to finish these goals off. That's so. more like it. Fitzsimon finishes. As West, wherever there's a contest, Eliza West won't be too far away. Got back onto her left foot. There's Paxman. Off by hand. Purcell's done everything else in this first quarter. Now she kicks a goal. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and, and this handball stuff they do is clearly trained. They train, they must train that. They're really good at it. Talk about sort of trying to get pressure on it, but it's hard if it's so systemized like it is. West tumbles in the direction of Harris. Sophie McDonald couldn't hang on. Harris does. And this is another goal from a forward 50 stoppage, and that's two goals, five. And she pops it over the top, and the Ds get their first of the second quarter. And Lampard. And Harris turns around, drives long. Zanka work to the front. Five, six, seven bites of the cherry. Talk a lot about the Melbourne Stars and the... Four times this year, she's kicked two or more in a game. That's every chance. Long ball beats everyone. Free kick to Daisy Pearce, and she got back up quickly. Didn't waste any time, and there was Kate Hall all on her own. Hasn't kicked a goal so far this afternoon. She has now. Oh, you mentioned half. Purcell's come in this year, so there's really no need to have someone like Daisy Pearce in the midfield anymore because there's such experienced young guns that are in there now and certainly going forward and providing that forward pressure like we've talked about throughout the afternoon and the ability to hit the scoreboard, not have a you know, heap of amount of possessions but have such an impact on the game and on the team is uh, it's really something to see. Gay with another forward entry. Hawke couldn't mark. Gave a handball off to Macken, who streams into an open goal. It's a thumping kick of the ball. So you can understand why Melbourne got back quickly. Because they knew that she could carry the distance and yeah, find a target. Smart. And, and all she did was look for where the space was and, then, and just put the ball there, let someone run onto it. Really smart. No angle to speak of. And no issues. Keeps it moving forward. The Ds have embraced this kind of surge mentality. And then Shelley Heath got out the back. Punches a kick low. Hoare just needs it to sit. That's the first part of the equation. But she's tackled straight away. Great, great work tackle. by Goranova. Great tackle. Great Great tackle, unfortunately, just slipped high. Hoare will step around and finish beautifully. Birch has starred across half-back. Takes another intercept mark. Fitzsimon turns and goes from just outside 50. Onto the chest of Zanka. Good player, Birch. Just the way she reads that footy off the, off the boot to intercept. Zanka guides home her second. The chase is on. Purcell can begin the rebound situation for Melbourne. Mackin took it on, but just couldn't find her way through. Hawes handball smothered. West Coast have just lifted their rating in the last few minutes. Holding the ball. Two minutes remaining. 
Harris straight into the corridor. Perfect kick for Hanks. Great kick. With a foot inside the centre circle. Has Hall following up from half back. Handball's on. Shelly Heath can run, carry, and go. Calculate around. What's that doing? To bring it back in. Siren sounds. Paxman marks. It won't count. It's a 78 point win, which on any other day would be simply superb for the Demons. They are going to miss top spot by 0.3%.